Oh, don't worry, I got a couple of secrets boxes for you guys. <laughs> Hey y'all, this is Billy and I'm not at Permapasture Farm today. I'm actually, I'm actually at an airport and I'm not holding the camera at the present moment, but we're out here to knock off a couple of things off the bucket list of two people I love very, very much. My niece and my wife. Um, you can see this plane taking off right over here. They're gonna be on it. And um, they're gonna be jumping out of it, tandem. This is something they've never done before. Now, I don't need to knock this one off my bucket list. Anybody that knows me knows I got a long history of jumping out of those things. And uh, I got that all knocked out in my 20s. So I don't have to be Michelle's age trying to knock something off the bucket list that I got done long ago. But it is a joy. Also a little bit nervous and harrowing when you see other people you love doing something that inherently isn't natural. I mean, the sky, anybody in Airborne that ever had army training and jumping out of a plane knows and they teach you this in airborne school and i remember it to this day that the sky even more so than the sea is unforgiving even at the slightest mistake so i know it's exhilarating i know it's very safe certainly safer than driving through texas any given to any given time of the year but hey with that said let's go check them out and let's see what's up hey y'all this what? is this is uncle this is uh billy making us late like he always does <laughs> And then we need him to fill the waiver out so we can get him up there on the next load. That sounds okay. great. <laughs> All right, here we are. Moments before you get on that bus and go to the airport and jump out. How are y'all feeling? Ready to go. Yep. Are you Are you nervous? Uh, just a little bit, but Kendra? We'll, we'll be good. Not too bad right now. Really? Yeah. You see how light it is? You see how light the landing was with everybody that came yeah. in? Yeah, it really was. All right, yep. cool. Looks like we got some pros. So over on this side, y'all, Underneath that little carport are the instructors and the pros. Well, I'm watching their plane just take off. And uh, I guess I was putting on a good face in front of them because honestly, at the end of the day, I'm as nervous as AOC at a Mensa conference. I'm just keeping it real, y'all. I know that this is really, really safe. And I know that these people have thousands of jumps. But I just, I guess it just takes me back to all the times I did it. And every single time, y'all, I was deathly, deathly afraid. Now, I had friends that really enjoyed it, but every time I jumped out of a plane, y'all, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest. I was, I was scared beyond belief every single time. Now, all of those jumps mostly were at night. Believe it or not, it's less scary, at least to me, than jumping in the daytime. Except I do remember one time when I was coming down in uh, Honduras and uh, we had these flotation devices that they fit under your armpit. I think they called them B7s. Well, you pull it and it inflates, you know, if you think you're gonna land in water. I remember coming down and um, you know, all you got is moonlight. I jump out of the C-130 and I'm coming down and I remember we were at like 1500 feet on that particular jump. And I'm coming down and all I see is like the moonlight glistening off the water. So I know I'm gonna be landing in water. I'm coming down and um, I'm thinking, okay, I'll just get ahead of this thing. I pull my, well, I lower my rucksack and then my, um, my, I think I was carrying an M60 at the time. So I lower all that. As I'm coming down, I pull the uh, inflation device. It, it goes and then I pull the left side and it doesn't inflate. And now I'm kind of freaking out because I'm jumping out. I got about 300 pounds on me, I guess. When it's all said and done, I got this heavy rucksack, a 23 pound M60, and here I am coming down, and they have this little thing you can blow into. If, if I remember, <laughs> I'm trying to blow into this thing, but it's not inflating. But all I'm thinking is, is I'm coming down, is the weight of everything in this water is gonna weigh me down and I'm gonna be under, I'm gonna be underwater and I'm gonna drown. So I'm losing my mind as I'm coming down and I'm thinking, oh my goodness. Well, at least I know my rucksack, it floats. So as I'm coming down, I'm getting lower and lower. And I, I don't remember my heart ever beating so fast in my life. But as I'm coming down, 
I remember you look at the horizon when you when you land in a parachute. You don't look at the ground. That's the quickest way to break your legs. But I'm landing in water anyway, so who cares? So I'm coming down. I'm looking. I'm looking, and I'm just remember my heart. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, how am I going to do this? I hit the ground, and it's ground because that water was only about a half inch thick, but it covered everything. So <laughs> I remember being scared out of my life, scared out of my mind, and at the same time, almost in the same breath, when I hit the ground being that much relieved. Well, I'll be honest with you. We got a helicopter flying over right now, but it, I'll be honest with you. I'm more nervous now for them, even though I know it's safe because it's, to me, the most valuable cargo. And they're doing something. I know that for Kendra and Michelle both, it's sort of a bucket list thing. But for me, it just seems unnecessary, but I can't what kind of hypocrite would I be to sit there and say, look, I'm bitterly opposed to this. And at the same time, having done it many, many times myself, many times, well, I won't get into any of that, but anyway, I'm nervous and I'm just waiting for to see a bunch of shoots deploy above me right now. So, um, Well, this is good news. All the shoots deployed. I didn't see anybody burn in. No cigarette rolls, so yeah, I'm digging it at this point. So here's the drop zone over here, y'all. They got the uh, flags kicking so they know the wind direction. But these guys are pros. I mean, once the shoot deploys, then um, I can breathe. Perfect landing. Yeah, you do. You land a lot differently in a in a Dash 1 Bravo or a T-10 Charlie in the Army, you don't, you do what's called a parachute landing fall. Which, you know, it sucks. Looks like the pilot found a little pocket right here. That's where he let him out, in that little pocket right there where there were no clouds. So, how cool is that? That looks like Michelle right there. Oh yeah, some of these guys are doing some gnarly tricks up there. Okay, you know I'm going back old school when I'm saying gnarly. Let's see who this is. I bet that's Kendra. <laughs> okay, I can breathe now. How was it? How was it? What it was so think? cool. It was. Best birthday gift ever. Yeah, good. I'm glad you had fun. <laughs> it was fun. So Were you cool. scared? Uh, I was a little bit like right, like right when we came out, and I uh, I had to like make myself breathe, but yeah. then I just concentrated on just enjoying it. Is it like it I was, said? Can you? Is it everything like dead quiet when you're up there? You can't hear anything. You uh, can't hear anything, but it was loud. Just cause, right. Yeah. Yeah. It was loud. It was cool. Wow. I'd do it again. It was. Fun. Would you? I would. Will they let you go back up? You can like come like train to do it by yourself oh yeah, yeah i got all the information yeah there was a first timer that jumped by himself oh really yeah yeah it was fun have a blast yeah all right so that's fun. off the bucket list <laughs> yep all right back to the boring life oh my word <laughs> all right y'all so we're back um two and a half hour drive there it didn't take that long i mean typically they give you some kind of training it wasn't that it was like you fill out the waiver form you get suited and booted, they hook up. What, how did they go in the army? 
suit up, I mean, stand up, hook up, shuffle to the door, jump right out and count to four. Well, it works a little bit differently from static line jumping to this. But I'll be honest with y'all, I think I'm the one that's got the adrenaline dump. Because like I said, I mean, I was I was pretty uptight and nervous at first. And then, and then of course, I started to breathe a sigh of relief when, you know, the chutes deploy and then they make it down. When I see the chute deploy, I know things are good. So it was a lot of worrying about nothing. But I guess at the end of the day, knocking things off your bucket list, I mean, it doesn't have to be jumping out of a plane. You know what it could be? It could be making your own 18-day compost pile. There's people out there that I know of, friends of mine, that have done it and didn't tell anybody about it because they were worried as to whether or not it might or might not turn out. How about making a chicken tractor on steroids? I know other people out there who've done it before, are doing it successfully, come up with their own recipe, and it's something of a thing that was a fear to them, Not no different than jumping out of a plane. It's no different than any other fear that we all have because it's doing something that you didn't know you could do, but you did it anyway. That's the definition, the consummate definition of courage, doing anything in spite of your fears, getting through it, driving through it. But look, this is a homesteading and farm and permaculture channel. So all, a lot of what we teach here, I get a lot of people in response saying, I wish I could do that. Well, maybe that's on your bucket list. Maybe that's what you ought to try to do. And um, take just one little piece of it. Something that scares you. Something that you're wondering, man, it, it, can I do it? Okay, what's the worst that can happen? At least you fail while daring greatly. And that's really it at the end of the day. All right, y'all. So hopefully that is of a uh, blessing to you. Um, well, I can't believe how wiped out I am. Like I said, those two are perfectly fine. And here I am with the adrenaline dump. So anyway, if you need comfrey, which I hope we still have some by the time this video comes out, it's getting touch and go. Uh, bone sauce, uh, we got it at the website, EMP Shield, check it out down below, world's best processing video, got it down there when it comes to chickens. Hey, don't forget also the Self-Reliance Festival's coming up in June 11th and 12th, right there in Tennessee, y'all. Sorry, y'all, I got the brain fog like nobody's business, <sighs> but I can relax now, everything's all good. All right, y'all, thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you next time.